Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to go over Jack's Economy. I've been waiting for a mod like this forever, and it's uh, everything I could hope for. So first, we're going to be going over this machine right here. This is called the Importer. And actually, I take that back. Before we do go over the Importer, we need to talk about the wallet. Now, the wallet is uh, basically what it sounds like. It's a wallet. We're going to go into our inventory. We're going to click this little circle right here. And we're going to find our wallet slot. So we're going to take our wallet. We're going to put it in there. Now, if you noticed, we popped this up in the corner. When it's not there. It's not in the corner here. It tells us we have zero dollars. To access our wallet, we're going to press O or whatever keybind you want. You can see we have the option to deposit all. We can shop. Uh, we can withdraw money by clicking these little tabs right here. And uh, right here is uh, we can write a check, basically. So. Uh, those are your little options here. We're going to put in a few thousand. Let's do 32,000. So we've increased our wallet by 32,000. Now we can actually spend money in the shop. So we can click the shop here. That's one option. The other option is to go and type in admin shop. That's going to give us access to the shop. Now, if you notice, it says edit. That's because of admin mode. And we'll go over that in a little bit after we go over these machines. Uh, basically, it's pretty straightforward. You click the tab you're looking for. We're going to click on this. It's going to add it to the cart. Right clicking uh, adds it. Then we can click uh, our cart and purchase these items for $1,500. So as you can see, we've got 64 diamonds in our inventory. We click purchase. It gives us our 10 diamonds right there. We're just going to escape a couple times to get out of there. So. That's how you work the shop and purchase the items. We are going to go over the admin side of this, but uh, we want to go over how a player can interact with these different machines and how to work them, and also how the admins can set them up also, because there are no recipes for these machines. They have to be placed in the world uh, by the admins, unless you create a recipe for your mod pack. So this one is called the importer. Uh, these importer manifests are used so as you can see this one shows a diamond these are also created by your admins you could access these through the shop you could add them to your shop so players could buy them or you could do it through a quest book uh, but we're going to place this one in here and go over this machine basically it takes money to produce diamonds right so if you put money in this slot it's going to start producing diamonds it's going to cook it up uh, let's throw in a few thousand. You can see our balance in here is now $4,000. Uh, our diamond price is $100. So it's going to take $100 out of our, our balance. It's going to, <coughs> sorry, create a diamond and pump it out through our exports, which we can go over our exports here. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you click on it, whatever side you want it to import from. So you can see the face of the machine here. We want it to be input. It's going to output through here, which we have this bell over here doing that. You can also uh, reject an item. So if an item isn't supposed to be in here, uh, we can automatically have it kick that item out of the system so it doesn't get clogged up, which is super handy. This one takes power. You can power it from any side. We're doing it from the top. And we can also increase the speed with this slider bar. So you can see it's taking six Vorge energy per tick for 0.20. We can kick this one up all the way up to high, that's going to take 188. As you can see, it's using our money pretty quick and pumping out our diamonds, which we told it to purchase through this little manifest. That's pretty much it for this machine. Now we have an opposite machine. So uh, think of the opposite of this is importer. We have the exporter, which also runs off of uh, Forge Energy. So we're going to kick this one up. Oh, it's already on high, so we're good there. Has the same stuff inputs and outputs which you can adjust to whatever your needs are but instead of taking um, taking money this one's going to be converting money into diamonds so uh, let's throw a few diamonds on our track here because we want to automatically import those they're going to go into the machine it's going to convert or put the diamonds there and start converting them into money themselves right so it kicks out a $50 bill here, or 20, a stack of 20s, I think it is, because it's 100 or whatever that diamond is, right? So if we do left alt here, so 50 bucks, right? 
Next, we have a very similar machine, but a different mechanic, right? So this one runs off of RF Forge Energy. Now this one runs off mechanical energy from Create. So on the back side here, if we take away the motor, you can see we've got that little cure shaft here. Uh, if you do have access to this one, I would say kick it in with a speed controller as fast as you can. Because look, this one, 0.55%, right? This one goes all the way up to 5%. And it's the same exact thing. So the exporter here, uh, I think this is the one we throw the diamonds into. If you have your manifest there, yeah. So it's converting it much, much faster if you use rotational energy. And also, again, the importer. If we throw money in here, let's uh, grab some cash. We can throw this down. I think you get the idea, right? Money to diamonds and the other one right here, the uh, exporter converts it the other way. So you have a way to make money or if you're producing something in your factory, you can come over to your admin's uh, shop here or whatever. You can find these in their server or map, throw them in here, turn them into diamonds. And you can do more than diamonds and we'll go over that in a little bit too. Our final machine over here does run off RF. There is no mechanical version of this one. This one allows you to change your bills into whatever you want. So if you want to have a thousand dollar bill turned into pennies, here it is. It's going to export them into pennies or we can do nickels and you notice it automatically updates it on the side here. So you don't have to wait till you have a bunch of pennies and send it back through. We're going to go over to hundred dollar bills, right? So every time we throw in a thousand dollar bill on this uh, assembly line right here, it's going to convert it into hundred dollar bills. And that can be handy if you're uh, trying to purchase something or you don't want to break down your thousand dollar bills manually through uh, this this way, depositing it and then clicking it a bunch of times over and over and over. So that's super handy. We're going to do uh, that's good. So that's the player end of this where you're going to be interacting with these different machines, how to work them. Uh, these manifests are obviously made by the admins. So you might be thinking, hey, how do, I'm an admin. How do I add to this shop? Well, there's a few steps to that what we're going to do. We're going to click our admin shop. We're going to come over to our edit, right? Now we can add to this area. So uh, this is diamonds. Let's throw in redstone here. We're going to click on the top with the redstone. We're going to type redstone, whatever you, you can name this, whatever you like, right? Next, we're going to go into the bottom slot here and we're going to price this. So uh, we want to look at diamonds as an example importer so the exporter is you purchasing import is uh, the admin shop selling so if that's a hundred let's make our redstone uh, let's go 25 with the redstone so now that we've priced that uh, when a player clicks on this it's gonna charge them 25 bucks actually I take that back let's let's change that up to 50 right so fifty dollars, well, not five hundred fifty. Click Enter to add the price. And if you want to remove the item, you click with your scroll wheel. Left click or right click to edit the price, and then Shift plus. Well, you can see to rename it. Next, uh, you can see we've got different tabs here. So we're just going to take an item like the Nether Star, click it there, and let's call this one uh, Rare. Rare items. Click enter. Now we can click this tab and we can add in a bunch of things up here, whatever you like. So same thing. You're going to click your nether star there. Nether star. Oop. Star. Enter. It's kind of a little bit of a process. I know. Let's call this one a thousand to purchase it. Right. Now you're not completely done here. So that set it up for the manual admin shop. Now we need to add these prices in to reflect the machines, right? So we're going to do price, set, and importer, right? We did, what, what? I take that back. We need the item in our hand, okay? That's important. So now let's try that again. Price, set, importer, which is what we want to name it 1,000, right? That's going to name the nether star 1,000. Then we're going to go back and we're going to do exporter. And I just kind of have the price as a rule. A thumb. Now uh, you can see it's added this little alt button. 
tells you exporter price 500, importer 1,000 each. Now, as an admin, you are going to need to come in here and do the manifest. So, exporter manifest, we put the item in there. Importer manifest, we put the item in there. So, so we're going to right-click this. It's empty right now. We're going to put our nether star in there. And because we already set the prices, it's going to know that, hey, this is an exporter. Boom. Now we have another star, and it's automatically going to tell us the price for it. So we'll pull the diamond out. We can put our nether star in there. You can see our nether star is here. It tells us our prices, and then we can move on with doing that. Like, uh, So that one was money. Uh, this one's going to turn. we got to grab some nether stars, actually. Grab some nether stars. I think that we're, we're, we're at the right machine, I think. Are we cooking? No. Maybe we need money in this one. Oh, it's money. It's money. Okay. My bad. That's my bad. So we throw money in here in this thing. It's going to start producing them. I hear it making them. Oh, right, right. Okay. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I was getting confused there. So as you can see, it's converting uh, our nether stars or our money in here for our balance <coughs> but anyways that's pretty much it for this one i was dragging a little bit there uh there is a little bit of admin work here to get this going and you can add to it as you go it's pretty much on the fly if you're on a server and then players can interact with these or of course they can just do if they don't want to automate you can do admin shop and maybe uh, i would suggest you know hitting the edit button if you're an admin you do have to be opt and admin or to or have creative mode in order to edit so we could throw our manifest in here so a player could come by and say hey I've got this machine I want to purchase a diamond manifest and you can add a price to this uh, pretty easily actually but yeah anyways that's pretty much it for this one if you have any questions comment down below and we'll try to go over them best we can I know there was a lot going on here and uh, it can be a little bit confusing. This is probably one of the longest tutorials I've ever done and had to set up. I had to learn a lot about these. But, yeah, just don't be afraid to comment down below. And if you have questions on how to make this work and we can try to figure it out. But uh, if you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.